coach Rick Lamas from Elmhurst College. Um, so you're saying as far as fighters go, like that they used to be a wrestler who is my favorite one right now? Absolutely. I would say right now I really like Uriah Faber a lot. Uh, the guy is just amazing to watch fight. He does uh, he does some crazy stuff. He's really innovative and and he kind of makes stuff up and uh, he's really explosive and he's the type of fighter that I would like to be. You know, when I reach the top of my game. Absolutely. Now, what are things you're going to start altering yourself in training? You mentioned Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, uh, but what are some things you're going to go back and sort of change up a little bit to change who you are? Because every time you step into that mat now, with the day and age of video, you're probably being watched a lot, <laughs> especially it's the fact that you're a, you're a great coach and a trainer. Yeah, that's true. You know, the video uh, will help out your opponents, but it's also a great learning tool for yourself. You know, when we were wrestling in college, we'd videotape every single one of our matches. And afterwards we'd go, um, to the head coach, Steve Marinetti's office and watch the tape with him, pick out the mistakes. <clears throat> and then we would work on them in practice. So even though it's kind of a tool for your opponent, it's an even better tool for yourself because you can pick out your own mistakes and improve on that. And then once you do that, um, the footage is useless for your opponent. Yeah, you know, it, we look at the the professional ranks is how much video footage they do and how much they look at. The reality is is that you have to balance between watching it and training. There's so many college coaches that spend so much time looking at videotape. They even say this is sometimes they plan on the videotape, not the players. Is that they look at the game and they break it down just for that game, and they don't apply it to their team as far as their training, and they realize they've got a balance of that, and that's a fine line to balance between it. When you look at professional fighters, I always use this as an example because a lot of people can directly go to YouTube and check it out. If anybody saw the Rory Markham fight at the UFC, uh, when, he, when he was fighting, um, I'm trying to remember the guy's name, Farber, Brody Farber, Brody was coming on to Rory. If Brody spent a little more time watching video, he would know that Rory Markham has a history of taking a hard shot, and he does a great job of backing up, get him sparings, and get ready. And he has, he has no problem throwing a knockout punch from any direction. And when you look at fighters and their video, you sometimes strike your head.